Gentlemen of the press, you are welcome once again to our update conference on the local government elections that took place yesterday, 26 October 2019 in Kevin State. As a continuation of our report of the dastardly acts committed by members of the APC, in collusion was hired hoodlums, vagrants, and even suspected headsmen and bandits. I must state that another scenario where election could not take place in all the world except one single word is Shanga local government. It is only in Shanga town that there were pockets of polling units where uh, a somewhat election took place. Even in those places, they were not devoid of irregularities and malpractice and box stopping. But in all the remaining wards, there was no a single place where election took place. The election materials belonging to those wards were hijacked, taken away to unknown places, box were stopped, and we still wonder how the results of those so-called uh, illegal elections will be written and be declared. Equally the same in, in Gaski local government, it, is only, it was only in Libata and Wara elections took place. One of the four meetings that happened in Konga polling unit is that uh, 1,000 votes were declared to have been cast. But the whole unit has accredited voters of 500. We wonder where the remaining 500 came from. Equally, in Libata, there were places where ballot papers were seen in the hands of APC members and they were reported to the police. In places like Gapara, Chibamili, and other places, no election took place. And in Gaski, there wasn't any election. Election materials were diverted to unknown places, and there was massive tom printing in favor of the APC. Another very important and funny scenario that is happening now in this real time is in Argungu. Up to this time, results of Argungu local government have not been declared. Why? Because there was clear, overwhelming landslide victory obtained by the PDP. Unfortunately, yesterday night, as it was becoming very clear, that uh, the PDP had taken over all the votes in Argungu local government. We don't know where an order came from. All the returning officers left Argungu for bringing Kebi town. As at this time I'm speaking to you, I have been informed that the State Independence Electoral Commission Commissioner with some other officials, like his secretary and others, are in Argungu town, seeing for themselves this unfortunate scenario. In Iowa local government, the center has transpired. There are areas where they could not in any way, neither or overwhelm the people or stop election. The PBP has won there. In the, the local government, the PDP has won several 
councillorship seats. Hmm. But the electoral or presiding officers left the seat for the police and the PDP members and other members of the public to guide the election materials. They refused to give the result sheet, but they were declared all in favor of PDP. I've just been informed now that uh, they have insisted that they will not declare the total results for the local government, that it has to be done in Brennan Cape Town. We don't know why. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, on the whole, we have assessed what transpired yesterday and have come to this conclusion. And with a high degree of confidence and reliability, we want to assert that there has been a pattern adopted during this election. And the result of the pattern adopted by the APC to see that by hook or by crook, they win this election is very, 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 very dangerous for the survival of our society. In a situation whereby hoodlums, vagrants, suspected bandits are hired to partake in an electoral process. That means vagrancy, banditry, and hooliganism is going to take over the political scene in our country. God forbid, let it not be a tradition that has been set. We are calling on all institutions and those in authorities, especially the Cape State Independent Electoral Commission, to declare null and void all the results that will be submitted it to it, especially in those local government areas where elections did not take place, where there was snatching of ballot boxes, where there was usage of bandits and hoodlums to harass, to assault people, and to declare those results that have already been either announced at the polling unit or at the court level, and it has been established that there were no malpractices in these areas until and unless the right thing is done the PDP will not fold its arms and watch its rightful mandate given by the people is stolen away through this dubious and naked violence and irresponsibility. It is on the basis of this we are calling on all our supporters to come down but to insist on their rights. We are also emphasizing and calling on the authorities to act timely, rightly, in accordance with the extant laws, and even to carry out punitive actions against those that have been established or have been involved in these dastardly acts. We are also calling on the remaining members of the public to go about their legitimate business 
we are for them. Will insist on their rights. Will follow this to its logical conclusion. We are democrats. We believe in democracy. We believe in the rules and regulations governing the democratic process. We also believe in partnering with all people of goodwill in seeing that our society is safe from violence, from banditry, from hooliganism, from outright theft of people's mandate. We must all try hard to win the hearts of our people through delivery of dividends of democracy. That can be the only assured way of winning the hearts of citizenry and getting their votes whenever the need arises. Thank you very much. God bless Nigeria. God bless KB State. And may victory be to the People's Democratic Party, the PDP. Thank you very much. Jama Assalamu Alaikum. Barka muda kuma sake saduwa a ci gaba da bayanai na abubuwan da suka faru a wannan zabe da aka gudanar da kananan hukumomi a jiya asabar 26 daga watan Oktoba ki jira ta Alif 2019. Jama'a kamar yadda muke fada muku a jiya wannan zabe da aka gudanar na kananan hukumomi zabe ne wanda an tafka magudai kuma an yi amfani da ayyukan ta'asa da ta'addanci da kuma aika aika na musguna mu mutane da tarwatsa mutane da sace akwatunan zabe da kayan zabe da kuma alingizon kuru'u da cin mutunci da cin huskar jama'a da amfani da ma'aikatan tsaro a wasu wurare da kuma amfani da wasu shugabanni al'umma da amfani da manyan ma'aikatan gwamnati domin a kakaba ma jama'a ra'ayin da ba su da a ci gaba da bayani musamman da karamar hukuma ta ingaski mun samu cewa a wurare kamar irin su gafara ingaski cibamili dubba ai zabe ba inda kawai muka samu rahoton zabe shine alibata da kuma wara to ko nan ma a karkashin mazaban libata a wata ruwa da ake kira kwanga an samu cewa duka duka wadanda aka yi ma accreditation wato wadanda aka to aka abun nan na sunayen su ba su wuce mutun 500 ba amma ko da an kakkida ya kuri uga kuri dubu guda kana kuma anan cikin wato ita wara an kama wasu da wato uri una bugi wanda an ka dangula ma jam'iya APC kuma tuni an kai rahoto zuwa ga yan sanda haka kuma a karamar hukuma ta argungu gani irin gagarumar nasara da ke be PDP a can bayan an kare zabe an kidaye zabe jam'iyar PDP ta ci sai kawai gashi ba a sai inda kira ya zo ma ma'aikatan zabe ba gaba dai ko ina suka taru suka gudu suka ce su binnika bai zasu suka bar kayan aiki yanzu maganar da nake yi shugabannin hukumar zabe ta jahar kebi suna can gare argungu suna ganin mu kan su abin da ke warwa jama'a wannan abin ban takaice wannan abin al'ajabi da ke faruwa yana faruwa a karamar hukuma ta daddi an samu nasarar jam'iyyar PDP a wurare da dama amma ma'aikatan zabe sun gudu sun bar kayan zabe sun bar jama'a da yan sanda na gadin kayan zabe jama'a irin wannan sabon salo na yaudara na sata na danniya da ayyukan ta'asa da yabba yana a jahar kebi ba abu ne wanda ke da kyakkyawa addu'a ga al'umma ba ya kamata mahukunta da maduk wanda wannan alhaki ya dora a kansa a tashi tsaye a yi darasi a yi bincike game da wannan al'amari domin kasar mu tana fuskanta barazana ta fuskar tsaro da wasu al'amura don haka akwai na da ban tsoro a ga cikin zabe irin na demokradiya wasu sun tai sun yi hayar 
wasu masu kama da yan bindiga dadi wadanga dake addaba mutane a cinci jihohin mu musamman ta arewa maso yamma a ga cewa sun shigo cikin suna cikin wadanda aka yi amfani da su ana saran mutane ana kwashe akwatunan zabe jama'a mu yan kasar Najeriya ne kuma a matsayin mu na ƴan jam'iyyar PDP kuma mu ƴan jahar Kebine kuma mun shiga wannan al'amari da kyakkyawan zato za a shirya shi bisa ga gaskiya a gudanar da shi bisa gaskiya lami lafiya don haka jam'iyyar PDP ta yadda da bin hanya ta limana ta bin hakkin mutane amma ba za ta taba yadda da irin wadannan yunkure yunkure ba na kwace hakkin mutane domin cimma wata manuha ko kuma domin jurewa a mulki jama'a mu sani ba mu da wata al'umma wadda ta wuce wannan kuma abubuwan da muke yi sune abubuwan da zamu mika ma al'ummomi da masu tasuwa nan gaba don haka jama'a a ce a sawo harkar tashi hankali da yan iska da sare sare da kuma hatta anwani da wasu wadanda aka gani babban barazana ce ta tsaro ga kasa cikin al'amuran zabe yana da bantsoro don haka jam'iyyar PDP tana kira ga dukkan magoya bayan ta na cewa su ci gaba da al'amuran su lami lafiya kuma su bi hanya wadda ta dace da doka wurin neman hakkin su kuma mu muna kira ga mahukunta musamman hukumar zabe ta jahar kebi na cewa duk inda an ka samu rahoto na kwace akwatunan zabe ko arin gizo ko sare sare mutane ko tarotsa mutane kada ta amince da wannan sakamako sannan duk inda aka samu an kada kuri'a kuma an ci zabe bisa ga gaskiya babu arin gizo babu amfani da kaihi babu amfani da yan banga babu amfani da ainihin yan bindiga dadi wurin tarwatsa mutane wurin cin zarhin su da cin mutuncin su to wannan sakamako a bayyana shi a amince da shi a sani jama'a hakkin mutane hakkin su ne kuma jam'iyyar PDP a matsayinta na halattaccen jam'iyya za ta bi hakkin mutane ta bi hakkin ta kamar yadda doka ta dace muna godiya Allah shi taimaka muna kuma mutane su kiyaye da abubuwan da ke faruwa kuma su bi domin wannan gwannati da ko wace irin gwannati ya kamata ta zama gwannatin jama'a mai kare hakkin jama'a da lafiyar su da dukiyar su da mutuncin su da irin su ba wadda za ta yi tana kallo wasu wadanda ke da wata manuha wadda ba a sani ba su zaman to ba abin da suka sa gaba illa amfani da ayyukan ta'asa domin cimma wata manufa ta siyasa mun gode assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh